Hello YouTube, welcome again to an installment of the hypertrophy series. We're going to discuss lifting rotations and the importance they have when it comes to accumulating quality tonnage. So, I will discuss it in another video that's going to be dedicated only to that, but the princi principle of specificity is very important for bodybuilders. Not as much as for powerlifters, but it still has its place and it needs to be respected. And rotating lifts is going to be strictly correlated with that specificity aspect because you are going to have to decide which lifts you're going to prioritize to accumulate tonnage, which is going to depend on the way you want to grow your muscles, right? Your priorities. And the lifting rotation aspect has been covered on the channel. You can go watch those videos. I explain everything about it. But a good lifting rotation is always going to be within certain, a certain range of specificity and your ability to rotate through the lifts and keep your tonnage constant is going to be dependent on how smart your choices were when it comes to uh, exercise selection so for example if you've decided that your bench is going to be the main movement you're going to be using to uh, grow your chest the lifting rotations that are going to be involved with the bench should be variations of the bench and lifts that are going to complement the bench by walking your chest. And there is a certain aspect of rotation of the rotation that is going to in, implicate the fact that certain lifts are going to be strictly better to make your bench stronger, but it doesn't mean that you only have to do bench variations. That's very important. Just because the bench grows your chest doesn't mean that you should only do bench, close grip, spoto press, uh, uh, block, block uh, or pin presses, all of that stuff. It's good to have a strength full that is focused on only one exercise, but you can branch out on other movements as long as they target your chest. And you're going to find that certain movements are going to be very high on the weight totem pole in a sense meaning that they're going to be responsible for a large amount of the tonnage that goes to your chest and then certain certain movements are going to be much uh, lighter and this is a very important range to have why because the bigger of a range you have the easier it is to control volume and intensity but you also understand that if you have too big of a range and you have 55 lifts for your chest this is going to become confusing your variations are going to be all over the place you're not going to be uh, able to apply the frequency principles enough to train the movements enough and at the end of the day it's going to be detrimental so you need to strike a balance but too little minimalism is not good and too much which doesn't really have a name is not good either so once you have that range, you're going to be able to arrange your lift and your program using these movements. You might decide that you want to do a heavy day and a light day, etc. But what's going to matter the most is that you keep tonnage constant. It is, in my opinion, not a good idea to have a day that has one third of the tonnage for chest compared to another day that's going to have triple the volume and the tonnage as long as it's a, ch a day dedicated to chest that's the kicker when it comes to chest dedicated days you need to have similar amounts of tonnage they don't need to be exactly the same but it should be around the same amount you can have one day that's slightly higher that's okay that's it depends on the way you program but you also have the ability to have a day that's going to be for example an arm day or you're going to throw in an accessory for the chest something that doesn't take much to warm up and that is going to add some tonnage to the chest with minimal work and effort it can be some push-ups some ring push-ups some flies etc you are not forced to respect uh, the body part split a hundred percent it's up to you the goal of that is of course to increase tonnage and the beauty of that method of slapping more volume for the chest for example on that day that is not technically a chest day is that it's going to increase frequency it's going to throw blood in the muscle it's going to help with recovery it's going to help ultimately with uh, gaining size in the area because you're adding tonnage 
Of course, because the, uh, the tonnage addition is minimal, it's not going to be super optimal. It's not going to be a revolution, but that's what natural bodybuilding is. You are stacking pebbles, and at the end of the day, every pebble you can stack is something that is going to make your physique look that much better. But all of these variables are going to exist within a lifting rotation, and they should be within a range of specificity. It is not, in my opinion, a good thing for bodybuilders to be jack of all trades, meaning that if you do dips, weighted dips, bench press, weighted push-ups, in my opinion, unless you're a chest specialist, you are devoting your attention too much. You shouldn't be doing that. Because at the end of the day, you have so many muscle groups that if you start applying that principle of super high exercise selection to each and every one of them, this is going to create mayhem and it's going to damage your ability to keep your tonnage stable because you're always going to re-enter that phase of having to relearn the lift because there is no way you're rotating the lifts enough within a week or within two weeks to practice them enough and your technique is going to suffer. So you need to pick your favorites. You need to pick the movements that you know work for you, that you can milk, that you can apply as strength work and then use specific variations of them to add more tonnage to it. So that is pretty much my message for this video. Uh, some, some terms or some practices that can look to be strictly technical and to not apply to bodybuilding, like for example lifting rotations or specificity, actually do. Why? Because they, they have a direct correlation with tonnage, which is what we seek. So that's it for the video. If you have questions, please ask them in the comments. Thank you. Have a good day.